Georgetown Pike. Welcome back YouTube. So this is going to be part two of the Georgetown Pike video. Now take exit 44 on the right. So we're on the Capitol Beltway here. In getting 1,000 feet, turn right onto Georgetown Pike. I'm actually getting on Georgetown Pike now. now so right onto Georgetown Pike. here we go. Part two, Georgetown Pike video. Hopefully we got things a little bit better for you all today, angle wise. All right, so this time FSD doing a good job at yielding. Let's see how we do. We want to make our way over. All right, so we're going to start off with one takeover. Um, all right, we're going to start FSD from right here and see if it can make us all the way to Route 7. So it probably would have worked back there, but I had about five cars behind me merging and I just wanted to make things safer and uh, just go ahead and take over. So we are officially on Georgetown Pike. I'm taking it all the way down to Route 7 and I've got FSD in control the entire time. Now this is my second time driving down this road. This is one of my favorite drives yet. It is a pretty dangerous drive. Um, you got to be real cautious back here. It's Saturday today, so people actually come out hiking back here. Um, so it gets pretty packed in the mornings. And uh, here we go with some of the sh real sharp turns. As you can see, FSD does slow down for these turns. And it's able to navigate through with the right speed. So before FSD autopilot, you would actually need to scroll the wheel down and make sure that the turn, you know, if it's suggesting it at 45, yet the speed limit is 55, you would actually need to scroll it down. But since FSD is available, it's able to detect the roads and see that with a sharp bend, the car is going to need to slow down. So I've tested this without a car in front of me and it still slows down. So have to say great job about that but beautiful drive this morning I mean it is just gorgeous back here very green very rich I like how they keep the nature preserve I'm telling y'all if y'all have never been out to Great Falls Park wow here we go look at this sharp turn nice job one more coming up man I swear it's like a roller coaster actually the closest thing I can compare it to is like a train like, I'm, I'm just sitting back like a train pretty much and just like, you know, letting the conductor do its thing. Yeah, I'm the conductor, so. People want to say, you know, FSD, full self drive I mean, it is self-driving, definitely. I, I won't take that away, but I would probably call it more supervised driving. As you can see, you know, you do have to tilt the wheel every once in a while. If you watch some of my other videos, you will see that there is no, um, I, I talk about how the input works in the different modes. So when it comes to FSD, it's, there's not like a timing, like, oh, every 10 seconds, it's going to send you an alert. It's actually tracking your eyeballs using the cabin camera and the more, and your hands too. So the more you're moving, see, the more you're moving, the more you're looking around it's going to ask you for input but if you're just staring down the road like you should be then it typically doesn't ask you for input so so far really good i'm gonna up the speed here to 40 and then slow it down once we get to some of the curb curvy roads nice morning this morning got the horses out and stuff I appreciate you guys joining me on this drive again. I reshot the video for all of you all who are asking for a better angle. So I still look forward to making several new videos. Um, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Here we go, and we got a nice sharp turn for you guys coming up. Uh, 
FSD suggesting 25, or the road suggesting 25 on this turn. Let's see what it gets down to. It got down to ooh, 32. Man, it took that. Wow, it took that turn pretty fast. Now, I did have it on 40. Granted, the speed limit is 35. So I probably should have turned that down a little bit. We are on a 78% state of charge. FSD is still in control. We have not taken over. One intervention at the very beginning, but since I've gotten on Georgetown Pike, it has been flawless. All right, here we go. Another very sharp turn coming up. Anytime you see the deer crossing sign, you should already know. This is like a nature preserve area. You get lots of lots of animals back here. Another reason why you, you don't want to be caught speeding. Another reason why at nighttime these roads are a little sketchy. You definitely want to try to take them during the day. Safety first always, guys. So here we go. Major sharp turn right there. Another one following immediately. We got down to 25 on that turn. Well done. That was perfect. All right, so this is probably gonna be the most difficult turn of the entire drive. Here we go. 20 miles an hour, it's suggesting. All right, let's go. Come on, FSD. You got this. All right, just so if you're local to us and you're familiar with the area, this is difficult run right here, the little parking lot you park in. Oh wow, FSD. Okay, so the, the guy on the other side of the road was a little bit on my side, so FSD did a little thing there, but well done. I'm telling you all, that's the most difficult turn. That turn right there causes so much traffic. Humans have trouble with that turn. So well done once again, um, showing you guys how the car is in control here. And I'm just supervising. So that, that's probably gonna be the most difficult turn. We've got a few more coming up here, but um, once you hit in town, Great Falls, again, um, it's pretty much a straightaway to Route 7. So I'm trying to capture like the most difficult turns on this road, kind of like these, to give you guys, uh, to show you how FSD performs see the car in front of us heading out to Great Falls Park which is going to be right here to your right that's where you got all the waterfalls the rocks to climb on the Potomac River state of Maryland on the other side it is it's a beautiful park it's one of our state parks here in Virginia so if you ever come out to uh, DC Georgetown area um, it kind of all leads into that back there but yeah, so far so good with FSD. I have to say I'm once again really impressed. This is the second time I'm taking it down this road and it, it has done really well. Again, this is more of a straightaway we got here. I think there's like one more um, pretty curvy turn coming up and then we're gonna get like to the downtown area of Great Falls where the speed limit changes to 25 so it's no fun. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Safety first. But, um, wow. So we had an alert come up there from out of nowhere. Gonna have to roll back footage to see what that was about. No takeovers needed. Um, interesting. Alright, so... Looks like we got some construction coming up here. And on a one lane highway is probably not the best for FSD, but like I said, I'm gonna take over only if I have to. For the purpose of this video, I want to show how FSD is driving and uh, 
only take over if I have to. Because we, we want to see in real life scenarios how it acts, what it does. You know, we're putting it to the test here. So anyone watching this, you know, feels more comfortable when FSD gets out of the beta program and it's, it's available for everyone. So no center line right now. They did construction and notice how FSD still picks up a center line or it knows where it's supposed to be but as you can see there is no actual line there and I am going you know on a one lane highway head to head with cars right now and FSD is handling it great I mean I can't believe it like knows where the line's supposed to be so now the line started back up so it was perfectly lined up well done. So we are now, as you can see here, speed limit 25. Notice how it changed the second I hit the sign. Um, and it's gonna just automatically slow down for me. I would like to see in future updates, it sort of detect the sign before, and then, you know, it kind of know because it does take like a few seconds there to reach the speed. So here we are guys, we have reached our destination and um, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. Please subscribe to the channel. I will be bringing you lots of content um, from the DC metropolitan area. I'm trying to, as a beta tester, I'm trying to